guys! Welcome back to my channel! So for today's video, I will be sharing with you guys rehearsal do's and don'ts. Because some people actually forget our do's and our don'ts. So before we actually jump to the video, I would like to introduce myself. If you're new to my channel, hi! I'm Abby Sulit. I'm a freelance theater actor in the Philippines. So this channel is all about makeup and theater, two of the things I'm very, very passionate about. So if you love theater and makeup, please make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. I post twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday, 10 a.m. So let's jump on to the rehearsal do's and don'ts. So let's start on with the do's. The first one is always bring your script and your score. Even if you're drop scripts already, it's actually good practice to bring your scripts. You can write down your notes on your scripts after rehearsals. It's actually good to have your scores with you, so just in case you forget your harmonies, you can check with your scores. Another thing you should do before your actual rehearsals is to familiarize yourself with the show. I've said this so many times in my previous videos. You have to be familiar with the show. So listen to the music, read your script beforehand. So another thing you should do is fix your schedule. As much as possible, you don't want to miss rehearsals. So try to fix your schedule beforehand. It's also nice to fix your schedule so that you know the agenda. It's nice to know the agenda so you come into rehearsals prepared, which is actually my next do. Come to rehearsals prepared. If you know, for example, you're studying scene 8, study scene 8 beforehand. For music rehearsals, if for example they allow you to use your phone, record your parts. It's very, very important to record your parts so that you don't forget your harmonies. If you have solos, as much as possible, try to be familiar with them before rehearsals. Of course, your musical director is there to help you out. But of course, it's nice if you're actually familiar with your solos. So try to familiarize yourself before rehearsals. Another do is bring pens or pencils. It's actually better to bring pencils. Some companies actually lend pencils. But if, for example, they don't, it's good practice to actually have your own pencil so that you can write down your notes, you can write down your blocking, and all that. Another do is wear comfortable clothes. Even during music rehearsals, as much as possible, try to wear comfortable clothes because you actually don't know if there's going to be like an exercise of some sort so you want to be able to move all right so don't wear tight fitting clothes or dresses or sandals as much as possible wear comfortable clothes especially if for example it's choreography and blocking you don't want to wear slippers no unless of course it's actually specified like for example, you have to wear character shoes and those are like heels, then you should wear those during choreo and blocking, but not for like music rehearsals. I don't think you need it. I don't think so. Another do is, for example, you're not a dancer and you know that you forget your choreography. As much as possible, you want to try to write them down. That's why you bring your score and your script with you so that you can write down if, for example, you have a hard time during this part or if you want to, you can even draw your choreography. To be honest, I did that for, I think, Little Princess because that was the hardest choreography I've ever done in my life, guys. Aside from God's Bell. Sir Dex, I love you. I miss you. Yes. But yes, um, I had to write down my choreography because guys, I'm not a dancer. I'm really not a dancer. So I like writing down my choreography, especially if it's really, really hard. I write it down. I actually draw like stick figures on the side of my scripts and scores so that I can remember the choreo. Usually, your stage managers will upload videos of the choreography. So you want to review your videos, okay? Sayang naman if your SMs upload videos and you don't watch them. Please make sure you watch them. Okay? Study at home. This do... This do? 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 Gets nyo na yun. Another 
tip, tip, tip na lang. Another tip is to sing while you dance. People actually forget to sing. Like when they do choreo, they don't sing. And then when they're actually like running the show, they're like, oh no, I have to sing during this part. So you want to sing while you're dancing. And as much as possible, even during choreography, you want to try to sing. All right? Now for blocking, a do is to write down your stage directions. Because as much as possible, I know you're like, oh, I can memorize this, I can remember this and all that. Trust me, guys, when you're running the entire show, you're going to forget. So it's actually nice to write down your blocking. Again, your stage managers will have videos of the scenes. Make sure to review and watch them at home so that you don't forget your blocking. Another do is bring water and the towel. I know it's pretty basic, but people actually forget to bring water and the towel. And, you know, it's sad. But yes, do not forget to keep yourself hydrated, guys. Okay? Keep yourself hydrated and have a towel so that if you sweat, you can dry yourself up. You don't want to get sick. The last do is pay attention even if it's not your scene. You want to be able to know what's happening in that scene even if you're not there. So that just in case something happens and you are needed on stage, you are ready. Right? Um, this actually applies to uh, like shows as well. Um, you don't want to be lax when you're like running already. Like, okay, for example, I had this show once. I don't know if I should say the title. Fine, I'll say it. Um, in Iraq, during the final scene, one of the actors actually slept and he entered like a minute or two later. And we were all like ad libbing. Oh my god, guys, you have no idea. It was so, so hard to like ad lib that scene. But yes, one of my co actors slept in the wings. So guys, do not sleep as much as possible. You want to be awake and you want to know what's happening in the scene. All right, so those are my do's. Now let's go to the don'ts. So first is don't come to rehearsals unprepared. Learn your songs in advance, remember your choreo, and remember your blocking. Again, there are videos or recordings, watch review at home it's very very important to review at home which leads me to my next don't don't learn what you learned yesterday today you guys get it if your musical director your choreographer or your director taught you something yesterday don't just relearn them during rehearsals the day after you want to come in rehearsals knowing what you learned the day before that so you don't waste time. As much as possible, do not use your phones during rehearsals. Actually, for Blue Rep, if I remember correctly, they get your phones. But most theater companies actually don't. So just don't use them during rehearsals. As I mentioned earlier, do bring your scripts and scores, correct? So my don't is do not leave your scripts and scores at home. Make sure you have them with you. And at the same time, don't wear uncomfortable clothes. You want to be able to move during rehearsals. My second to the last don't is don't talk too loud when it's not your turn. To be honest, I talk a lot. I'm so sorry to all my SMs. But yes, guys, don't be like me. I love making cheese meals. Guys, don't copy me. Be quiet. If it's not your turn, be quiet in the wings. Try to study your parts if you don't know your parts yet. Okay? So, don't be an Abby. Study your parts. And my last don't is, don't give your co-actors unsolicited advice. Okay, this is actually... I think a common problem we like giving notes to our fellow co-actors and my suggestion is don't 
if it bothers you, like if you guys are scene partners and it really bothers you, you can ask your scene partner questions about his or her choices. But try not to give advice. Okay? You are not the director, you are not the musical director, and you're not the choreographer. Unless, of course, you were assigned to clean a certain scene or a choreo or music, then go ahead, give them advice. But as much as possible, try not to give your co-actors unsolicited advice. If they ask for your advice, then you can tell them your advice. But always tell them that if they don't want to follow you, that's their choice. And they can always ask their director. Okay? So do not give your co-actors unsolicited advice. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. If you have other video suggestions, please make sure to comment them down below. I would love to hear from you guys. You guys are like 100-something already. And I would love to hear from all of you guys. Please comment down below your rehearsal do's and don'ts. If I forgot like something, comment below. I really would love to hear from you guys. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I also have a Kumu if you guys want to follow me in Kumu. My Instagram and Twitter handle is at Abigail Sulit. And my Kumu is at, at Abby Sulit. Just look for me there. Yes, guys, so that's it for this video. I'll see you on my next one. Break a leg. Mahal ko kayo. Bye!